If you became president, would you pardon Edward Snowden? I would pardon, but only because he went through all the proper channels and was rejected. Right. The Democrats demonized the Republicans. The Republicans demonized the Democrats. First of all, you can't unite the country if you're demonizing half the people. Yep. And so everyone knows the origins of COVID and all. I mean, we can stop with the games. Yep. The Donald Trump of 2023 is not the Donald Trump of 2016. He is a different man. He's he's bitter. DeSantis, I think, is good at policy. As it relates to the presidential race, he's very inauthentic. Well, the boots also kind of. He, well, that. like I said, inauthentic. American citizens still half of them don't know that the government's lying to them about everything. So they are we, are we, we the are. bad guy? Around the world, we are the bad guy that no one wants to talk about. They can't stand up to us yet. I think a lot of people are starting to ask the question, okay, federal government, that's your job to protect the borders. If you're not doing that, why am I paying you so much in taxes? Do you believe in like age limits? The White House was never meant to be a you know community yeah. retirement home. If you become president, are you going to reveal the fact, are there aliens? Are there not? What's up with Area 51? And why is the government <laughs> talking about freaking aliens? And our hoverboards related. And our so hoverboards right. related. Where do you think I got the idea? <laughs> no, no, I just kidding. Uh, if we knew the truth, many people would shut down.